Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video where I try to make technology easy. Today we're in Adobe Photoshop. I have a brief and quick tutorial to show you on how to handle washed out images very easily by using the eyedropper tool. Okay, So as you see here, I have a nice washed out photo of some gentleman uh, working in a bunker at a golf course and I have done this to that image. I have added some color to it. I have added some depth to it. Uh, as you can see here, the, the darks, uh, the blacks are a little too dark uh, and you can change that by actually going in and adjusting some of the levels and I will show you how to do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that adjustment layer there. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is select your layer which is the image and then go down until where you see here it says create a new fill or adjustment layer. Click on that and then go to curves. Click on curves. Once you have done that, you'll see this adjustment panel open up for you, and you will see three different eyedropper tools. These are the tools that we're going to work with today. The first one is the blacks, okay? So click on the top one there. That will be your blacks, and then go in your image to where you see the darkest area of the image. So in my case, I believe last time I chose right here the dark end of the tree there, and that really added a lot of color and depth to this image. The next one I want you to work with is the whites, which is the bottom one here. Click on that. Uh, go to your image and find the whitest and lightest area. Uh, it cannot be like a light green color. That will not work. It needs to be some kind of white within the image. And then click right there. That will brighten up the image and take down some of those darks that we've already added. Next is the middle grade color, which is the grays. Go ahead and click on that now. And then go to your image and find a nice medium grade gray color. And I've done that there. If that doesn't work, you know, select another gray within the image until you get the desired effect. Once you have done that, you then go over to your adjustments panel, which I'm going to drag right over here, and take the RGB line, which is right here, the, 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 the major line, which is right here, the black line, click and hold and drag that to lighten up the photo or take it down to add more shadows. So in my case, I want to lighten up the photo just a little bit, and then what I'll do is I'll actually lighten it up just a little bit and see how it even gets washed out when you do that, so you don't want to do it too much. You want to go ahead and take it down uh, to where it really grabs a hold of those colors. And as you see here, uh, I have actually taken the washed out image, which was previously this, and I have now made it to be a really nice full color image. Now, what I will tell you is this. If you're getting some dark spots like I am here on the bushes, is you can actually go back and grab your black uh eyedropper tool and then grab a black in this image that is not so dark so you can actually go and grab some lighter blacks which would be like right here uh, and then go up here and click on that black and then kind of adjust the the blacks and the, the levels of that black and it will really take the image from being uh, you know what you had which was a washed out image which is this here into an image that is full color and you're still going to need to go in and, and adjust some uh, layers and, and, and and maybe take the color down a little bit, but you can really do a lot to a washed out image by grabbing a hold of these black, gray, and white eyedropper tools within the curves adjustment layer here in Photoshop. So guys, just a quick tech uh, tip there in Photoshop. Hopefully it helps you out when you're working with your washed out images. Uh, if you do have any questions on how to go about doing this, put them in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to get to those. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. And please help me out by subscribing and liking and sharing this video. And I will see you guys next time.